Well, many refugees, especially ones making that treacherous journey into Europe for a better life, also want to get to a safe country to become citizens and have a passport that would afford them better opportunities. So there's a new report out about the strength of passports worldwide. Leah, can you expand on that for us? Doreen, it's a very interesting report. It looks at the strength of your passport based on visa approval, whether you have to apply for a visa or if a country will simply give it to you on arrival. The passport index here ranks Germany, Singapore, and Sweden among the top passports there. The worst passports to have, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iraq. We wanted to ask you as an international news network, a lot of you travel very much, I know I do, how does your passport affect your everyday life? Or does it impact your, your job, your education? And we had some pretty interesting responses. This one from Christy, she's in the United States. She says she is American, but her husband is from Kosovo and has had many challenges here. She put me in touch with her husband, his name Yeli. He's in Kosovo and sent me this. Hello, I am Yule Ramadani. I am from Kosovo, a country which is very hard to get visas. I am an eSports Pro Dota player. I play for Pro Dota Gaming. Uh, in eSports, it's very important to be able to travel. And I am basically not able to do so because of where I'm from. Unlike my wife, who is from US, I just last month missed a tournament of $600,000 because I could not get my visa in time. On the other side of the conversation, you have people who love their passport. Thor here, he's a, he's a traveler, a very avid traveler. He's been to 124 countries. He's on his way around the world, 79 to go. He's Danish, one of the strongest passports to have. He's trying to go, like I said, to all countries without an airplane, a very interesting character. He sent me this video from Djibouti. Hi there, my name is Thor from Once Upon a Saga. Once Upon a Saga is a project where I try to travel to every single country there is in the world in one single unbroken journey, completely without the use of flight. So far we've reached 124 countries. I've done so with my Danish passport. The Danish passport is commonly ranked as one of the best passports to have in your pocket in terms of accessibility. I'd have to tell you though, it's a lot more difficult to get around when you're not flying. Accessibility is a lot easier in airports than it is at land borders. This project is in place to promote some of the good sides in life and some of the positive experiences that I have to counter some of the negativities that we hear in everyday media. Have a nice day, everyone. I was comparing Thor and Yili's passports here using the passport index. So Yili can go to 39 countries without a visa. Thor can go to 155. And this tweet just in from James, he's saying his passport, which is British, is one that he thinks he's going to hang on to, especially after hearing so many visa nightmares. We would love to hear from any visa nightmares you may have or any stories in general about your passport. You can connect with us with this hashtag AJNewsGrid. All right, Leah, thank you very much. And speaking of uh, British uh, passports. What we'll do now is we'll head over to London and Lauren Taylor is uh, joining us with more of the day's news. Lauren.